time to spill the tea with Spicy V. Welcome to Spill the Tea with Spicy V. Today we are here with Taylor Hale, Miss Michigan USA 2021, winner of Big Brother US season 24, and America's favorite house player. Welcome to the show. What's up? <laughs> I am a huge fan. You haven't even been out of the house for 30 days. How is it going? Oh, it's been an absolute whirlwind. You have no idea how odd it is. I was in the car in the Uber this morning thinking about, oh, like literally tomorrow is my one month anniversary of giving that speech, walking out of the house, finding out, oh, wow, people do actually like me outside of here. I'm not crazy. It's just, oh, it's yeah. the weirdest shift in my entire experience. It's feeling, feeling $800,000 of, of good too. <laughs> <laughs> not that. Uh, always that. <laughs> Yo, you got like big numbers going on in your life right now. Let's talk about the 220K followers on Instagram. Like ah! how? It's weird. It's, I, th I was telling other people that I've been able to meet. And you know, the things when you're on a different reality show, you can see the growth happen in real time. You know what the conversations are in real time as you're watching the show. For me, I handed my phone over when I landed in LA and 82 days later, my phone's popping off and I'm landed at 220K. Like, in what world is that normal? It's just not. You were nominated six times. Six. Why? Why? That's a great question. Why? Like, why? Really question. Literally, like, why? Why? <laughs> <For> why? why? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's funny because you think that, oh my God. You know what? I'm just going to show you guys what's happening right now. There is a oh cat my God, in a bag. Oh my tea. God, I am Some done. tea. There is a cat in a bag <laughs> right now. You gonna come out, Fetch? You gonna come out? This Yo, cat we just jumped into my out bag. The bag on this show. I'm ready. Come on, Fetch. You gonna get out of this bag? Come here. You had one of the most intense and emotional experiences we've ever seen on the show. What would you say, like, genuinely kept you going? You know, I, I've said this a few times, but I would not have been successful on the show and I would not have stayed on the show if I didn't have that mission of doing everything for black women. Um, and there are many times where, you know, I just wanted to lay in that bed and not engage. Uh, I think going into the show, I thought that people who did that were quitters. I thought that they weren't invested in the game. But when you're playing the game, you realize how much you need that comfort and that escape to just lay in your bed. But as far as continuing on, fighting on, foraging through, being resilient, that came from a place of understanding that there was something bigger than me happening. I met Xavier, a Michigan brother, uh, yes, last yes, week. X. Look, keep, keep, the, keep the crowns in Michigan. We got AFP, we got the winner, and then both on me. So, but I finally got to meet <laughs> X last week, and he has just like a huge, hilarious personality. But I tell him all the time, like you had to obama -fy yourself last year. We had to do the Obama method to get a black winner on the show. Yeah. And I wanted to have a similar mission, but I'm, God, I don't have it in me to fake like I'm anybody else. So yeah, I was fighting the cause for all the black women and women period. What was your favorite moment in the house? Uh, winning the wall, are you kidding me? Winning the wall was probably the thing that showed me, no, you are a physical threat. You are very competitive. If you really are dedicated to the game, to your body, to yourself, you can achieve whatever it is that you need and you can defend and protect yourself if need be. So that just reminded me, you are not just your brain. You are not just your words. You are also your physical ability. That felt, that felt so good laying the wall. I know people were sitting on the sideline like, she doesn't oh. need to win. Well, I did. You did that. You literally did that. So on that note, let me ask you about your relationship with some of the house guests. So have you talked yeah. to Paloma since being outside of the house? Girl, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. I have not, I'm no. absolutely crying. And, and what's your relationship like with Monty? Uh, Monty and I have had a, a couple conversations. You know, I want nothing but the best for him moving forward, but I just don't think that he and I are going to be close. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But, you know, I'm not trying to send my fans after anybody. Just let yeah, me have yeah, relationships yeah. that I do and I don't have. Listen, the Jailer Sands, the Hail Racers and Jailer Sands are fucking crazy. And I love them. But they are crazy. <laughs> so yeah. if it comes down to, like, me not getting along with people just leave them be let them figure out their own lives and y'all just keep supporting me so i'm really excited obviously to talk about this next house guest joseph <laughs> okay yeah so you and joseph smile. were separated when he was evicted during the dire fest twist mm -hmm. um what was going through your head when you didn't see him would come out with the others well i mean it was just like a like a knife in the heart 
honestly, it was very gut wrenching. And I think my first thought was, okay, like Kyle clearly did not do the job he needed to do. Cause the only person that really could have the sway to protect Alyssa to that capacity was Kyle. Um, and I think if Kyle kind of put his foot down and found a way to get Turner on board, it was the death of the leftovers as much as I didn't want to believe it. Losing Joseph then was so heart wrenching because I couldn't even say goodbye. It felt very cool. So, you yeah. know, it was odd to think, wow, now I have to wait a month until I see him again. Yeah, so you spilled some serious tea on your Instagram today. So you have 0 0.01 of a higher rating on Uber. <laughs> uh, now, how does that make you feel? <laughs> are we shocked? Like, are we shocked that I'm a, I'm no. calm. I'm calm and nice and easygoing. So, you know, if I get an Uber, it's quiet, it's easy. I just, and just as down in Miami, I imagine like, or Fort Lauderdale, wherever. I imagine mm. if he's getting in a car, he's like, all right, like sick people, come on, we're going to the party. And then you got people who are probably drunk in the car and all this other stuff. It's quiet with me. Yeah, it's yeah, easy. right? If you do, of you know what you're doing. Of course I have a higher rating. There's, <laughs> please. There was a one moment we were in the HOA from hanging out. And I think I asked something like, what do you miss the most about being in the outside world? It's not a people, not your doll or anything, but just an activity. And I said, flirting is mine. And he immediately goes, say no more. <laughs> He's like, I'll say less. <laughs> That's when I was like, mm. So I got a few more names for you. So yeah. uh, just let me know how it makes you feel. Yeah. Rihanna? I mean, I'm, look, I'm not saying I have beef with her. I'm just saying she needs to hurry up and invite me to her little Super Bowl after party. Yes, I know you will be there. You will be there, okay? And what about Julie? How was it? What was your, like, experience like with Julie? Oh, well, I barely got one because I stayed in the house until the very last second. I think my favorite thing is when, you know, cameras stop rolling. It's like a pageant after everything. They have a list of all the shots that you need, the winner and the runners up. Yeah. Um, so we're taking photos and Julie walks out and... Look, Miss Chen Moonves had her UGG slippers on. I said, that's right. She goes, oh, don't worry. I'll put the heels back on for the photos. I was like, I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. So, yeah, Julie, she did. Julie's a real one. <laughs> okay, and the last name I have for you is Matthew Turner. And not who you're thinking. <laughs> I'm talking the fan. <laughs> yes, what a good guy. He was a big yeah. supporter of mine when I was in the show and was your guys' <laughs> biggest supporter when you guys were in the house. So um, I feel like he played also a really big role in getting this interview going. So I just wanted okay. to take a second to say thank you. Well, thank you, you to Matthew. Mr. Matthew Turner. Okay, so moving on, this is like a say, the part I'm really excited for. I wanted to talk a little bit about your time as like, like as a pageant girl and doing pageant yeah. stuff. You've had like a few almost wins. I guess you were second runner up, and you were just saying like, you know, it's not about the winning and stuff. But I really am yeah. curious of, do you think those experiences like kind of helped shape you for your Big Brother win and just kind of like how to get there and different things like that, or like no, no correlation? Oh no, I mean no, I definitely think that when you know how to lose. Um, I mean, you can take it down from like, okay, I lost this 15 USA one year, but then that prepped me for how to lose a competition in the game. Like literally a cop. Okay. I got so close, but I lost. How do I operate in a way that's going to protect me, um, and navigate with different people? Like those are still social skills that you learn. And then winning Miss Michigan USA honestly prepped me for winning big brother. Now I know how to communicate with people. I know how to set up different partnerships and organizations. I know how to literally handle someone who is running at me who's so excited to see me like that's not foreign to me because i did it with the crown and sash on the only difference is that sometimes i'm looking a little bummy and walking down the block so <laughs> <laughs> are you a lights on lights off kind of girl <laughs> Ooh, lights off definitely lights off. Yes. yeah okay morning or night morning or night morning yes it's okay. a good way to start the day like Woo! if i had a whole long day it's like sex after um after a dinner date too it's like no i'm bloated i'm tired i'm too full like no get, get my day started right please um favorite type of alcohol bourbon Ooh. bourbon 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 i love some bourbon oh my god yes, yes. that's the one okay celebrity crush oh my god okay we have shamar <laughs> moore we have reggae jean page we have chris <laughs> evans my favorite white man <laughs> I think uh, oh, Jason Momoa, come get oh, it. Oh, yes. Thank oh, you. my gosh. Drogo, baby. Fuck yeah. Yes. Who's the guy from, uh, like, what's his name? Michele Morono or something? The guy from 365 on Netflix? Okay. Immediately, yes. Immediately, yes. <laughs> Immediately, yes. So what attracts you to people? Like, what, what are your turn-ons or, like, what, what catches you, like, right away? Ooh. I mean, it's definitely energy. So 
<laughs> I just, just mentioned a bunch of celebrities whose like energy I don't actually know in person, but you can be the most attractive looking person in the world. And if you have a stink attitude, I'm not going to want to talk to you. You could be, oh, yeah. I can't say you'd be the ugliest person in the world with a charismatic attitude. That does absolutely nothing for me. You got to be good looking, but oh, yeah, the seriously. attitude is what matters to me. How you treat me and how you treat people is what matters to me. I like charm. I like charming people. I'm yes. a sucker for charming people. <laughs> Hence why you like Joseph so much. He's such a little charmer. So charming. <laughs> like you were down in Canada. You weren't on my side of Canada or we would have already been linked up and I already would yet. have taken you to dinner. I wasn't there yet. <laughs> um, but I'm sure your time will come when you come to Toronto and we will be waiting. Um, so, but how was your time here? Like, did the party scene like do it for you? Oh my God, it was so fun. So we started in Calgary and then we went to Edmonton. Um, I've, everybody told me that Alberta is like the Texas of Canada. I, I hadn't heard that before, but I was like, okay, I don't know what that means, but let's go. And I saw a lot of cows everywhere, so I guess I kind of get it now. <laughs> Not that. How was it meeting Betty? Oh my God, Betty is the best. Look, Betty hooked me up. She put me onto her hair and makeup artist. The oh. hair and makeup artist got me right. The night I had a sparkly outfit on, that was yeah. all Betty. Ooh, I seen on your Instagram, not a full body search at the airport girl <laughs> no, y'all are y'all are thorough out in canada <laughs> first i had to i didn't know there was a limit tell me if i'm wrong i didn't know there was a limit on how many liquids you could have in your bag oh, so i had yeah. a bunch of the mini ones like everything was well portioned but i just had too many of them so first thing let me check my bag then i had to, i couldn't even check my bag because i had to exchange my cash rate so i'd do oh, all yeah. that oh Drunk my security gosh. for a second time i got pulled to the side i had all the bobby pins in my head so they were picking all in my hair they put a black woman on me though she was like i'm sorry girl i gotta do it i said it's just your job i'm not mad so they had her in my hair they had her in my shoes on my belt i was like okay it's fine i gotta taste them with joseph goes for some time um looked like people showed up i saw like the big billboard of you guys i was like oh my god that was fire Look. But I did want to do Aww. a quick fill in the blank. Just, you know, like I said, yes. I always love like getting to know people. So these are just short ones. I am. Ooh, confident as hell. Yes. I want. A hundred million dollars. Oh, she said I ain't done. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to flip this bag. <laughs> yes. I do not With like. The bag that I freaked it. I do not like. <laughs> I Ooh. got a bag and I freaked Look, I'm trying to, okay. Uh, I You're do like, not like fake orgasms. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, yeah. you heard it here first. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Okay, I will soon. Ooh, be the most coveted entertainment news reporter in the country. Ooh, you're really like, you are a goal oriented. Like, I am here for this. Yeah, ain't shit stopping now, the hell? No. No, no, you can't. You just got started. <laughs> right. Okay, Spicy V is? The baddest in the game. <laughs> there you it is. It. Yes. Taylor said it, not me. Like, Confirmed. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing for Halloween? Halloween's just around the corner. Do you know what you're going to be? I'm still working on it. I feel like I do want to do the Mean Girls route and just like buy lingerie and put on like some wings or something on my head and be like, I'm a cat or I don't know. So we'll see. Yes, Halloween, <laughs> yes. But I know I want to do something sexy for sure. I know I kept saying I want to do sexy Zingbot. So I don't know how to make it happen. But that would be, I'll find you a way. have to do that. You, you, know, you have to. I'm in LA. I can figure out a way to make it happen. I'll find a way. And thank you for doing this interview. Like, I, like honestly, yeah. I, I, this isn't a big interview. But it means so much to us Canadian fans. Like, oh, please. No, you guys don't even understand. Like, I know how much Canada loves Big Brother. I yes. picked up on that as I was doing my research for uh, U.S. Big Brother. So it means everything that you guys are embracing me with open arms. And I get to oh. share my game and my life and everything with all of you. So thank you for investing in me. On Instagram, like, I have DM'd you so many times. I'm like, I think I'm going to go delete those now. <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. Oh uh -uh. my god. Okay, I'm so Taylor, before, right before I let you go, girl, what are you doing? You know what I always ask um my guests if they have a question for me. Because you know I asked you so many silly damn questions. If you want to come back, now is your chance. <laughs> Ooh. Um, okay. You know my cast. Who would you have paired for showmances? Go. Ooh, that's a really good one. Mm. Monty and Indy. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, you know, from the jump, <laughs> y'all know from the jump. That's why Indy didn't like me at first because she thought I was trying to rub up on Monty oh, too really? much. Too soon. Yeah, she said on the feed, she's like, I didn't like you because I thought you were trying too hard to like be too close to Monty, and you were saw that I was into Monty, and we're like, no, go yeah. ahead, go away, Indy. And I was like, you think I want Monty? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm gonna say this. Um, I did say on my journey to the house that I have a little bit of a beard fetish. And so when I walked in, I was like, oh, this is the setup. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I see what they're trying to do here. Um, I see what they're but, trying to know, do. Yeah, I was like, so I, see what, I see what's trying to happen here. But I was like, okay, just focus on the other shit. Like, showmances is not the priority. And that, oh. you know, I ended up with, like, someone that I was supposed to be on another reality show with. That, you know about that one? No, I, no. So after we got out of the house, I got a DM from a casting director of uh, F Boy Island. And so I was reached out to go on F Boy Island, I think last year, two years ago, something like that. Joseph also was recruited for that season, but both of us said no because I was going with USA and he was taking the bar, prepping what? for the bar. A year later, Joseph and I end up on Big Brother, not focused on showmances. And, you know, look at us now. <laughs> Talk about meant to be. I know. I Manifestation, know. like energy, <laughs> the laugh. Oh my God, thanks for spilling that tea. Because I did not know that, Taylor. Yeah, it's so crazy. Oh my God. Well, thank you for spilling that and some. This interview is going to be so wild. <laughs> Girl, Canada loves you. We're ready for you. Thank no, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations on making history. Thanks, girl. I Let's you, girl. keep making history. Open okay. up the floodgates for the rest of us. Ah, I can't wait to see what's next for you. Thank you. Ah. <laughs>